Live from the Fairmont Hotel in San Jose, California, it's The Cube at Big Data SV 2015. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are here live in Silicon Valley for theCUBE for our event, Big Data SV, which stands for Big Data Silicon Valley, put on here at the Fairmont in conjunction with Strata Conference and Hadoop World going on right across the street as part of our Big Data Week of coverage and analysis, and this is theCUBE, our flagship program, where we go out to the events and extract a signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle. Our next guest is Clint Sharp, CUBE alumni from Splunk. Um, welcome back to theCUBE, good to see you. Thanks so much, uh, We're winding down to the end of the show. It's obviously Friday, feels like, you know, I don't even know what day it is, we've been doing interviews wall to wall, um, kind of like at, at, your, uh, at the Splunk conference. Uh, you guys have also a great content, similar vibe. A lot of bombs dropping in terms of pure content, it's a lot of energy. Um, my brain is full, you know, it's one of those conferences where <laughs> like you guys. But, so your title is getting, you guys are growing, so your title's getting bigger, you bolt on more words, director of product management and big data and operational intelligence. Bigger and bigger, you guys are growing, but operational intelligence, big theme. We heard security was a huge discussion at the last event, really big part of the big data equation that you guys are involved in since you have such great customer base and they're doing more and more with, with Splunk as a platform. Security obvious. Is that why it's not bolted on there? Is that like the security? Or is that more enterprise? I mean, is all of the above? What's, yeah, what's so, the update? So, so, so my portfolio, what I, what I do for Splunk is I cover, uh, uh, so big data, obviously, Hunk, we've got some, we've had some great news this week on, on the Hunk front, and we're obviously, we're, we're down here at Strata. Uh, taking a look at that ecosystem. Uh, but also, uh, when we say operational intelligence, what, what we're seeing at, at the largest and most successful customers is they're not just answering security questions or IT questions, but they're answering business questions. And so, uh, Godfrey, my CEO, likes to say that, that he sees the biggest opportunity uh, in being able to offer intelligence on the data on the move, right? So, the, the problem of, of looking at large amounts of data that are static and sitting there uh, you know, it, we, we are certainly making it more affordable. I feel like the, the, the big data ecosystem and the world of SQL on Hadoop is certainly driving the cost down of doing uh, analytics at large scale. Uh, but it's still solving a similar problem. It's structured data, it's understanding, uh, you know, uh, what's happening. The, the, the innovation that I'm seeing is looking at this data on the move and helping people answer questions, uh, hopefully in real time. And so, um, what role are you guys doing at the conference? You have a booth here, you got the, any product announcements you mentioned, Hunk? Uh, what else is happening? Yep, so uh, the, the big announcement from this week is uh, we did a press release with Yahoo. So uh, Yahoo is a, uh, uh, a major customer of ours uh, and uh, was, was gracious enough to do a press release with us. Yahoo is using Hunk to look at uh, over 600 petabytes of data at rest in their over 35,000 nodes of Hadoop. Uh, and uh, they are able to answer all sorts of interesting questions, and, and even in a, in, a, in a very meta way, they're using Hunk to help them run Hadoop. So, uh, you know, when you have, uh, when you have, a 30, when you have 35,000 nodes of anything, uh, but Hadoop specifically, uh, they start to generate a large amount of data about themselves, and so we're, we're helping them uh, operate uh, their Hadoop clusters and maintain higher availability. I mean, they, they must be throwing up a boatload of data. I mean, <laughs> what's the petabytes per second? I mean, I don't know, I mean, it, it's like, <laughs> they have massive data. Just can you like put it in order of magnitude without like, you don't have to give any secrets, but I mean, they have massive data. Do you have any, can you share any kind of like, what solar system of, of, of data? Yeah, so they, they, you know, Yahoo's been doing this for, uh, for so long. So a lot of the, the technologies that, that we're seeing emerging, uh, they built them first in-house. And, uh, uh, and so you don't see as many of some of the, the newer, hipper open source uh, 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 projects because they already built their version 10 years ago that they've been improving for 10 years and uh, they didn't open source uh, that, that ecosystem. But uh, yeah, they are, they are generating, uh, you know, they are generating, just in Splunk Enterprise alone. So we have two products, we have Splunk Enterprise, we have Hunk. Hunk is, uh, is our uh, search engine and query language on top of Hadoop, and then Splunk Enterprise is our big data platform in its own right. Uh, they're ingesting over 150 terabytes of data a day just into our product. So that should give you some idea of, of scale that they, that they must be generating petabytes of data a day. So um, what else is going on with you guys? Obviously customer traction, every time I hear about 
you guys at the event, zillion more logos. What's the growth look like? What's the expansion strategy look like uh, for the product and company? Yeah, so we, we, uh, our security markets, well, you mentioned it earlier, are growing uh, uh, gangbusters. We've got uh, 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 more and more security customers coming on board every day. And what we're seeing in the ecosystem is that's, that's a lot of where the funding's going as well. Enterprises are, are very concerned about their security posture mm -hmm. with many, many recent breaches in, in uh, the Fortune 500. They're all looking at it and saying, I, I need, obviously, a newer, better approach uh, to taking a look at this, and along with our uh, several of our partners in the security ecosystem, uh, there's sort of a next generation of companies coming along. We consider ourselves part of that. So let me talk about competition because I've heard some scuttlebutt, certainly around Silicon Valley, around um, uh, startups going after trying to you know uh, nip at your heels a bit. Sure. Oh yeah, we're going to go after Splunk. We're going to low cost alternative. What's your, what's your take on that? Are you seeing uh, uh, them putting a dent in, in any like? crumbs off the breakfast table. I mean, they haven't gotten to lunch yet, but I mean, there's some upstarts that are trying to position up against you guys. And how do you respond to those guys? Yeah, I, I mean, like, uh, <laughs> I'm, we're a public company. You can see how well we're, I mean, we're continuing to grow so quickly. When I started at Splunk, we were 400 employees. We're over 1,400 now. I've only been here three years. Uh, you know, it, it's an amazing amount of growth. I, I think there's a huge amount of opportunity in the ecosystem. Um, I, you know, we see a lot of competition from open source as well, so. Uh, uh, you know, we, we, uh, we've been seeing an emergence in, in Elasticsearch and the Elk stack and, yeah. uh, you know, it, it's still some assembly required there. Um, and, you know, if you're, uh, you know, for the persona that's willing to do that assembly, that, that may be uh, a good option for you, but, yeah. but we're... The maker uh, culture is out there. I mean, if you want to grow their own, you sure, know, that's sure, and in which case, I mean, uh, I, I would strongly encourage them to do so. They're, they're probably, uh, the reality is they're probably not our customer anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, so talk about, talk about uh, the platform, right? So, so you guys came in on, and grew from a very narrow scene, very specialized. Now we always talk about this event, but just re, 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 reiterating for the audience, huge platform. What's next for you guys? Where's the innovation? Obviously we were just talking to Google about data flow. There's so much going on in the data space. Cloud is exploding. You guys have been very successful with landing and expanding, huge customer base. There's a platform war going on at the data layer. Obviously, converged infrastructure helps you guys, and obviously apps are great too, right? So this data layer, this middle ground is up. There's a lot of action going on there. How do you guys fit into that kind of street fight and or, uh, or land grab or, you know, sure. competition? And yeah, well, so there's, there's a huge amount of competition. I mean, the, and that, I think that's, uh, that's in general good for everyone. Uh, our philosophy is that, that we can provide value on top of the data wherever the data happens to rest. And if, uh, if you happen to bring it into our platform, then then that's fantastic. Uh, our our platform in Splunk Enterprise provides uh, fantastic needle in a haystack search capability. Uh, it is a full featured big data platform. Like I said, our largest customer ingests over 400 terabytes of data a day into the the platform. So. We know we can scale and we know we can offer those, those use cases, but if you want to put your data in Hadoop, that's fine. If you want to, we have integrations also with, uh, with other uh, NoSQL uh, providers, Cassandra, MongoDB, et cetera. So wherever that data is, we want to provide uh, value on top of it. We think providing that really simple user experience for exploring your data and working with your data uh, is what makes our products incredibly compelling. And then where we're innovating is, is on top of that, that same platform that we've built. So whether that data's in Hadoop, whether that's data in, in Mongo, or whether that's data in our own platform, we're providing applications that solve use cases. And so we've, uh, you know, we're in the upper right magic quadrant and security for, for our enterprise security product. Look for us to keep going into, into other markets with, with similar efforts for, for building solutions that solve uh, uh, customer problems and then continuing to expand our ecosystem of partners which are building solutions on top of our platform. You guys got to keep innovating. You guys do innovate and if you're not out in front of the next wave, your driftwood as the old expression goes. So, <laughs> so what's next for you guys? Obviously you got product management, you got the roadmap going on there. You're here, obviously a ton of action here. It's like um, you're really innovative, but the reality is you got you to move that into production. So what's, what's, what's happening for you guys? What do you see that's exciting you? And wh where's the visibility on the straight and narrow that you can share on the roadmap that you guys are driving towards that's innovative? Yeah, uh, I, I think we are, uh, we're keeping a close eye on the ecosystem in terms of the emergence of uh, uh, other data processing technologies, uh, Spark, Spark Streaming, and I've been seeing a lot of excitement about that this week, uh, a lot of press releases from various vendors. Uh, but we're, I, I think we're continuing to push heavier into, uh, into real time and, and being able to provide uh, value on top of that, uh, that data on flight. 
We've got a rich roadmap in the security space. We'll have some, uh, some future excitement in the IT space as well where, where we're looking to continue to invest heavily. Uh, and and so, you guys are growing too. I mean, the team's growing. You're hiring, right? Oh yeah, it's. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. I, I, you know, you, it, you know, Splunk has. <laughs> Splunk has. Uh, uh, my 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 uh, PR people will hate me for this, but we we have this. Uh, we we used to have this uh, shot glass of like Splunk rhymes with drunk, right? So you know, the uh, we have a, we have a fantastic we have a fantastic culture at uh, at Splunk. And we're, uh, we're we well, you play we, hard, you work hard. I mean, it's exactly. a startup culture, and you're still young and growing. You need that energy, right? So, yeah, exactly. And so know. it used to be that uh, you know you'd come in on a on a you know Wednesday night or Thursday night or Friday night, and people would be hanging out until six, seven o'clock in the office. But they're still hanging out, except for now, I don't recognize all their faces. That's how you know they're, yeah. we're, all, we're growing so fast. You're the senator now. You're like, in, like the senior guy, <laughs> three years in, right? Yeah, exactly. It's uh, no, nobody's nobody's around anymore. Everybody's still around, but but uh, there's so many new people that having been around three years makes you an incredible old timer. Yeah, we're psyched to, uh, to, to work with you guys. We're going to see you at your event. We're doing some social media stuff with you guys with the crowd chat. We're going to get, you guys got great uh, social activity, got a great blogger network of people, great community, passionate customers. So we're going to bring them into the cube world this year. We're going to do a lot more integration, uh, not just at the event, and do some great uh, earned and earned and earned social media with you guys. So uh, always great to work with Splunk. Great success story. One of, the, one of my favorite success stories at Silicon Valley is Splunk, how they grew, how they executed. And again, ideas and execution really make the difference. Technology, again, is an enabler, but you guys are a great example of that, and great to see you guys in the trenches continuing to innovate, uh, and certainly Spark is, is hot too, pipelining data. Data flow, data action, data ocean. It's a data ocean out there. The lake's batch is lake, and data ocean is real time streaming, and that's the new uh, term we got validated by Google in the last <laughs> yeah, event. Thanks so much, Clint, good to see you. We'll be back Thank with you. our next guest after this short break, winding on the last day of Big Data SV. We'll be right back.